New this morning, the National Science Foundation has selected an Albuquerque museum to receive a grant that they say will help researchers further their study of prehistoric mammals while also helping local students learn more about science, technology, education, art, and math. News 13's Sarah Yingling spoke to the scientist leading the team. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Fernanda. Yeah, the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science has one of the largest collections of early Paleocene mammals in the world with 8,000 fossils within these walls. Now, thanks to this grant, the collection will be used to shed light on how mammals were able to survive after the mass extinction of dinosaurs. We want to understand how all these different animals are related to each other and when they sort of diverge and how they evolved. Researchers say the project aims to increase the understanding of the origins of placental mammals, mammals that give birth to fully developed live young. These are animals like dogs, cats, livestock, and even humans. Researchers say through a really tedious process, they will analyze the skeletons by looking at teeth and brain anatomy. They'll then put that information into a database to develop a huge family tree that they will then work into the exhibit here at the museum. The grants will also help support educational and outreach programs here locally by giving teachers material that they can then take back to the classroom. We're going to help teachers develop curricula around uh, these fossil specimens so they can take back this information to the classroom and teach their students about this. And the researchers here will be working with other museums, both nationally and internationally, from countries like China, South America, and the UK. Back to you. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you, Sarah. Now, researchers say we could begin seeing these outreach programs once the project is complete in about four years, but we could see some of the fossils in the museum's Hall of Mammals exhibit within the next year or so. So I'm looking forward to that.